All right, everybody, welcome to the Feature Feature. Today, we're gonna to be going over the April product updates for Aptio's product families. My name is Hunter Willis, and uh, I'm excited to, to get going with this here with you today. Uh, we do have updates for Aptio One for cloudability and target process to talk about today. And uh, we have a great conversation with Andre Mihalinko where we're gonna be talking about the recent target process updates and get a little insight into what's new and what's coming. So uh, first we'll dive into what's new with Aptio One here talking about integrated investment planning to start. So integrated investment planning enables IT organizations to gain a deeper understanding of investment costs for Waterfall and Agile and provides a more complete picture of planned investments for you know your, your development processes in your organization. For Aptio BI, we have an update for some of the cloudability integrations. We're basically adding uh, the use compare dates functionality there for cloudability data sources, making it a lot easier to compare data over certain points in time. Aptio BI, again, is our uh, solution that works across Aptio's products to be able to uh, enable customers for certain data sets to create custom dashboards and reports and easily distribute those to the people that need to see them in their organization to keep everybody on the same page. So some other updates to be aware of in cost transparency, we have additional dimensions and metrics that are exposed to Aptio BI. So again, you can have that single pane of glass to be able to customize and distribute how you're looking at that data and for your, your teams and the people working in your organization. Uh, we also have additional um, tracking for user behavior and metrics for Aptio BI reports to support that auditing process. So we've been doing a lot of that in Aptio One here recently and now that's being added to Aptio BI as well. So you can kind of see who's doing what in the platform. Additionally, we have more Aptio BI reports that are coming on the horizon. We're going to continue to enhance Aptio BI to make it the go-to place for data visualization and tracking. And we're also adding Aptio BI uh, user guidance documentation, documentation in the Help Center to make it easier for people to get onboarded and ramp up utilizing um, Aptio BI and its features as we're rolling them out. Now for cloudability, we have GPU right sizing recommendations that have just come out. So of course, making right sizing recommendations for EC2 instances that are backed by GPUs, factoring in the GPU utilization as well as GPU memory utilization uh, for those instances. Now it'll either suggest another GPU based instance or suggest one maybe that doesn't have a GPU if you're not really utilizing that part of the EC2 instance you have provisioned. So on the horizon, we have cloudy recommendations for auto scaling groups. That's gonna be coming out here really soon. I'm looking forward to that one. And AWS inventory reporting is going to be a major enhancement to cloudability as well in the next few weeks. Uh, we also have a blog post for the AWS EC2 related product launches that we've had here recently. So that should be coming out next week. We also have a few other blog posts that have just been posted to the blog about some of the services offered in AWS, how we support them and how our customers are using them. So go over to the blog, check those out. We have some other blog posts to touch on here while we're talking about target process product news. So uh, first thing to talk about here is the JIRA integration enhancement where it can now natively support JIRA custom work hierarchies via a toggle instead of like a more cumbersome manually defined rule process. So basically really shortening that capability to, uh, to surface that JIRA information within target process. Pretty major enhancement there. It's pretty exciting to see uh, come to the solution. We have three new blog posts um, around target process and agile practices on our blog. Uh, so definitely head over to the blog, check those out. Once the video is done here, there'll be links posted to YouTube as well, so you can easily access those. But if you just go to Aptio under resources and then navigate to the blog, it's really easy to find them as well. On the horizon, data sync validation for Jira and Azure DevOps to be able to, you know, when you make those connections, be able to confirm and, and validate that the data is transferred is coming here too. Now, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and uh, pop over to the conversation that I've had with Andre Mihalinko about what's, uh, you know, been some of the recent updates in target process and some of the good things that are coming here. So let's pop over to that conversation now. Okay, great. So we have Andre on the line here with us today. And Andre is a VP in our um, uh, products and engineering department. So Andre, tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do here at Aptio, and then we'll dive into some of the new things uh, going on with Target Process. Sure. Hey, Andre. Um, pleasure to be here. So my name is Andre Mikhalenko. 
I'm a VP of product and engineering uh, at Aptio, uh, mainly focusing on target process. Uh, this is the company I was a co-founder and uh, CEO prior to acquisition by Aptio exactly a year ago and now almost a year and one month uh, ago. Um, so kind of fairly still new into the Aptio, uh, really happy to be uh, part of this great company and great portfolio of products with target process uh, being you know, one of the key uh, product offerings um, in a specific, specifically in the enterprise HL planning space. Um, and we're just really attacking some amazing things that we'd be happy to talk about more later. So, yeah, cool. That's great. Thank you. Yeah. So do tell us, tell us what's new with target process and what's going on with it. There's, you said earlier, like there's a couple of new things you're really excited about and kind of pumped to share today. So I really appreciate that, man. Yeah. Again, I mean, I, we, we can definitely talk more about uh, target process, uh, as a leader in enterprise agile uh, planning space, uh, you know, the company that's been around for more than 15 years and had kind of walked the whole path of being a team level tool all the way to the uh, portfolio um, uh, product management uh, solution at enterprise level where the company is of all sizes and specifically Fortune 100 companies are selecting us to manage their workflows and spe specifically the ones that are transitioning into agile uh, but uh, you know that that's a kind of a big uh, piece of that but uh, specifically lately with target process um, I'm, I'm excited about the feature is uh, validation rules um, that came out just recently so what that is about is really if your organization has a very strong process uh, which a lot of our customers see um, has a strong process regulations audit and compliance requirements uh, or just maybe some policies that um, help you keep your data consistent, uh, validation rules can definitely help here. Um, for example, um, you don't want to be able to change potentially a portfolio epic when it was moved into the final state. Uh, when you locked the uh, time records um, and they were marked built, you don't want to make any changes as well. Maybe sometimes you have a, a user um, who only as an approver can approve certain things so that uh, certain events don't happen or don't get triggered by uh, unnecessary changes. So all of those things essentially uh, make your data a lot more reliable, any data that gets entered into the system and prevent unwanted modifications and obviously help with uh, compliance. Um, in a nutshell, you know, if you want to make good decisions, you need reliable and consistent data. And this is where uh, validation rules uh, definitely um, the the latest. We had some, we always had some versions to work around. Yeah. That. Um, now we actually have a pretty robust um, engine to uh, to do that uh, at, a, at a much more scalable way. So that's great. So it adds that kind of confidence and fidelity behind the information that's there as well. And that's really good, man. That's really great. Well, that's exciting. And thank you for coming on today. Is there anything else that you wanted to talk about, or anything that's coming up in the future that's kind of exciting too, or yeah, I mean, it's probably a lot of you know is that, um, you know, one of the things that uh, app to and target process uh, bring together to the market is something that hasn't been done too well by others or at all, frankly, is how do you uh, close this gap between the world of finance and work management? And this is what we are hard at work right now, um, actually building some amazing integration with uh, the existing app to uh, portfolio of products, as well as um, other third-party uh, systems that are uh, typically used as ERPs or corporate financial management systems that allow for this seamless um, data flow that allows the finance uh, folks and the uh, product and uh, delivery and work management, uh, portfolio management, uh, you know, strategic planners really to be aligned and on the same page on um, what are they doing, um, whether they're funding the right initiatives whether the changes in the work are in real time reflected to the budgets and how do they actually change the initial plans that the company really relied on upon building you know, their potentially quarterly budgets or uh, even annual budgets. So we're just helping companies uh, transition uh, from this very traditional project-oriented funding uh, to a modern product-centric uh, way of looking and continuously funding innovation. So this closed loop innovation that um, Aptio and Target Process obviously bring together, this is yeah. what 
my primary focus has been since the acquisition. Uh, we've uh, actually released uh, some pretty amazing um, beta and early integrations already out there. And uh, in the coming quarters, we're actually uh, coming out with some um, new and updated uh, tighter integration between all the product suite of uh, Astio. So that's just uh, some of the things that's uh, top of mind for me. That's great. That's great. Yeah, from my perspective, you know, it's been exciting. Uh, and this from the this series, I get to talk to these different people from different platforms, and I'm we're almost witnessing in real time how our different products are meshing together and bringing more and more value for our customers there. And it's it's really cool to see target process come along that story with things like Aptio BI and you know for the the TBM story and the FinOps story and the Agile story all coming together in this cohesive value add for our customers. So that's. It's really exciting. It's great to hear about, man. Thank you. You're welcome. And thanks for all your hard work and for the work of your team. And uh, we'll hope to have you back here uh, again before too much longer. Sounds good, Hunter. Thanks a lot. All right. Take care, Andre. Take care, man. Thank you. Uh all right, great. Thanks again, Andre, for coming on to the feature feature. It's a lot of great information, and we really appreciate it. So for uh, product updates, to find those on a regular basis, besides tuning into the feature feature every month, you can head over to the Help Center via the widget in the upper right-hand corner when you log in to access your uh, Aptio products and solutions. And in the Help Center for each product, there's a section called What's New under the, the notes there. So when you navigate to that What's New section, it'll give you detailed information about each release and sometimes even links to further documentation, screenshots, etc. right there in the, uh, the product guide. So check those out on a regular basis if you're looking to find what's new with the product. We also, don't forget, have our help center that you can log into, and we've got um, additional help documentation that's being rolled out on a regular basis. Um, so definitely, again, just check out the help center for that information as it comes. As I mentioned before, we've got several new blog posts. So head over to the Aptio blog if you want to learn more about what's new with uh, our solutions with as far as our support for AWS EC2 instances, as well as a lot of great new content on um, agile practices and how target process is helping those as well. Lastly, want to mention that we did just have a new episode for FinOps Fridays. So uh, they're actually talking about um, containers in regards to FinOps. So head over to YouTube at FDO's YouTube channel and check that out. You can see there's a there's a playlist specifically for the, the FinOps Fridays on there as well. A lot of great information. Last month they were talking about uh, managing like SaaS portfolio in regards to, to cloud operations and FinOps as well. That's it for now. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Again, my name's Hunter Willis. We'll be back next month with some more updates right here on Appio's Feature Feature broadcast.